Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'da Habatifillah Something to give us hope and encouragement no matter what kind of fitna or trial befalls us Especially when it's fitna between Ahl Sunnah Especially when it's a situation where perhaps you may differ with one of your brothers or sisters from Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah and in this condition, and in this situation, that if you are on the truth, bi'idnillah ta'ala, then you can find comfort in your heart with the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, لَا تَزَلْ طَائِفَةٌ مِّنْ أُمَّتِي ظَاهِرٍ إِلَى الْحَقِّ حَتَّى يَأْتِيهُمْ أَمْرَ اللَّهِ وَهُمْ عَلَى ذَلِكَ وَكَمَا قَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ wa sallam, وَفِي رُوَايَةٍ أُخْرَى لَا تَزَلْ طَائِفَةٌ لا يدورهم من خالفهم ولا من خذلهم حتى تكون الساعة. And in the hadith of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم, which means that there won't cease to be a group from my nation, which continues to be on the truth. No one will harm them who differs with them, or disagrees with them, or tries to harm them until the hour, until the hour is established. So this lets us know habit of Allah. And probably this is more relevant to differences between Ahl Sunnah and Ahl Bid'ah. That Ahl Bid'ah, when they differ with Ahl Sunnah, that they try to harm them. And they differ with them regarding the truth. And they deviate from the Haq. <coughs> so in those situations, that although they might try to harm Ahl Sunnah, and although they have deviated from the menhaj and methodology of Ahlul Sunnah, they cannot harm them. Likewise, those people who try to bring you down, who try to destroy your name, try to destroy your status, try to remove you from any khair, or try to speak about you in an ill way, they cannot remove you from the path of Ahlul Sunnah without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They cannot take you away or lead you astray or tarnish your image based on falsehood as long as you cling to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you seek the guidance of Ahl Al-Ilm in order to make sure that what you are upon is the haq and that it is based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the methodology of the Salaf of this Salaf Salih of this Ummah and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of Ahla Haq and protect us from Ahla Kufr, Shirk, wa Zandaka, wa Ahla Bid'a, wa Dalal. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Ali wa Sahbi wa sallam.